I think the auto industry sees that fuel efficiency is becoming a higher and higher demanded thing that the public wants. The 54.5 mile per gallon uh, efficiency standard increase that would happen in 2025 that the Obama administration, the deal they've really worked out with the auto industry. And your average Minnesotan is going to save about 550 some odd dollars just over a summer of driving. I think that we've seen when, when gas prices did go up, people started looking for smaller vehicles, they started getting rid of their SUVs or parking them for more fuel efficient alternatives. By 2016, we're supposed to meet 35.5 miles per gallon uh, as the standard. Uh, vehicle manufacturers, I think, to meet the standard, are able to do it with technologies that exist without reducing consumers' preferences or performance of vehicles or size of vehicle. To meet the new standards, I think that they're going to have to flip the coin. I think they're going to have to start looking uh, more at reducing the input and maintaining the same power output, or reducing the power output even of the of vehicles, which means essentially that consumers may have to settle with less powerful vehicles or go to more hybridization schemes which cost more money. Ultimately, what we're looking at is that we need to transform our entire energy system, and transportation is a pretty key piece of that. 